D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds, and welcome to my Week in Review, where I come to you every Sunday with three entertainment stories that I personally find interesting, and then we discuss them down below. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video, and you can read them for yourself, or you can just listen to this video where I'm going to read them to you. And, you know, and you can create your own opinion and everything. Um, before I get started, also, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We usually get pushed to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. Now, saying that, why don't we go ahead and get started? Uh, and all of my stories have to do with DC because we got a lot of news this week and I have some, some thoughts on that. <clears throat> so for this first story, I'm going to do two articles on this. Uh, so uh, this first one, both of them come from Deadline, my favorite. And says, Henry Cavill confirms exit as Superman. My turn to wear the cape has passed. I'm super upset about this. Um, you know, Henry Cavill had announced that he was going to be playing Superman going forward. Um, and he talks about it here when he had posted something on Instagram. And then he had to uh, backtrack that because uh, James Gunn is he's not Superman. So let's read through this and then we'll go to the next article that I want to do for this first uh, one. So it's moments after James Gunn informed that he's penning a new Superman uh, set, which was my the next article uh, is set. Um, yeah, it's a uh, uh, is set in the Man of Steel's younger days, and that Henry Cavill won't be playing him. Cavill confirmed the news, and he says, uh, let, "Let's go down. Hold on, it, they have it uh, right here." Okay, so it says <clears throat> this was his announcement. It says. I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran, and it's sad news, everyone, I will, after all, not be returning as Superman. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October, which is ridiculous, the studio told him he was going to be Superman, uh, according to this, and then James Gunn was just like, no, not really, you're not, <laughs> it's fine. Um, back in October, <clears throat> prior to their hire. This news isn't the easiest, but that's life. The, the The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of uh, fortunes. For those who have been by my side through the years, uh, me being one of them, we can mourn for a bit, but then we must remember Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, and the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all onwards and upwards. And I thought that that was a really good uh, post for him. It was very thought out. It was very well written. I don't know if he wrote that himself or if somebody else wrote it for him um and then let's see this uh so let's why don't we go over to the next article um okay so it says uh hold on it says uh uh his post already has gotten responses including from fellow dc player shazam zachary levi hope to catch you in another universe sir and aquaman's jason momoa love you brother love jason momoa and, J and apparently jason momoa is going to be lobo in this new universe Le and we'll talk about that let's go to this other article also from deadline and it says new superman pick in the works with james gunn penning henry cavill not to star ben affleck in talks to helm a future dc pick and that talks about how ben affleck so it looks like they're doing a hard reboot over at warner brothers uh, or James Gunn is going to do a hard reboot. We'll see. He's got to get rid of every single actor in terms of the character they're playing. Like Jason Momoa won't be Aquaman, Aquaman anymore, which bums me out. But he will be Lobo. It looks like that's going to be that was the, that was the rumor. Sorry about that, you guys. That was the rumor. And it looks like that's going to be true. Uh, so I'm fine with them rebooting and getting rid of all the actors. But if they have Henry Cavill play somebody else, that would be uh, quite interesting. I wonder who he would play. But let's see. Okay, so it says DC bosses Peter Saffron and James Gunn 
tonight officially made known their plans for their first movie under their regime. It's Superman, a script that uh, the latter is currently writing about the Man of Steel's early days. It's not an origin story, but a new actor will be sought to play Superman. And I think they have the Twitter. Yeah, they have, they have his tweets in here, which we'll go over because he does talk about how it's not an origin story. Somebody had mentioned, like, is it an origin story? And he's like, absolutely not or something like that. So it says, uh, as for Henry Cavill, while the DC bosses would like to work with him, he's been informed he's not part of the next iteration of Superman given its new direction. The actor later confirmed that saying, my turn to wear the cape has passed. And I just read that story from Deadline. Um, so it says, meanwhile, we hear from sources familiar to the scene that James Gunn and Saffron, uh, Gunn and Saffron are in talks with Ben Affleck to stay in the DC universe, but as a director, which I'm fine with that. I think that I liked Ben Affleck as a, as Batman. Personally, I thought he was a good Batman. I liked his Bruce Wayne more than his Batman, but I liked his Batman. Um, and I and but as, and also as a director, he's I think he's great. I mean, did you see Argo? He did a great job with Argo. So I think that this is good. And he wanted to direct a Batman movie, but it got messed up because, you know, Warner Brothers, you know, uh, they're they're just weird. And then they let Matt Reeves do that crappy Batman movie. Ugh. Anyways, OK, so let's uh, continue with this. He is set to reprise his Batman role in The Flash, which opens on June 16th, which I'm seeing on Twitter rumors that that's not true, that he won't be like his or maybe he will be in The Flash. Yeah, his Batman will be in The Flash. But they've taken out Superman's uh, cameo, and they've also taken out uh, Ben Affleck's cameo uh, from Aquaman. Which, and apparently, these are all going to after these are done. This they're, they're going to be doing the new universe. And I just go, why take them out then? Just leave it. Just leave it because we all know that it's 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 still going to be gone. So, but whatever. Anyways, okay. So it says Gunn and Saffron plan to unveil their full DC plan in January, but are taking meetings with various talent connected to the universe to share their vision as they sort out a more cohesive plan for the comic book brand stretching across all mediums. In a tweet tonight, Gunn writes, "Peter and I, which we'll go over in just one second. Uh, why don't we?" Why don't we go over those tweets? Because it's uh, it says right here. Okay, say so Peter and I have a DC slate ready to go, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. We'll be able to share some exciting information about our first projects at the beginning of the new year. Then it says, among those on the slate is Superman. In the initial stages, our story will be focusing on the earlier part of Superman's life, so the character will not be played by Henry Cavill, which is a bummer. And says, but we just had a great meeting with Henry and we're big fans and we're and we talked about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in the future, which I think is good. And like I said before, if he plays another character, that's great. But I really wish they would have let at least let him have one more shot as Superman, you know, in a Man of Steel 2. I know they weren't going to do it because they're trying to change everything up again, but it's just a bummer, you know. All right, so it says, Superman has appeared in eight Warner Brothers feature movies during the box office era, going back to Richard Donner's 1978 original starring Christopher Reeves. Loves that movie. Uh, together, those picks, including Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Justice League, have grossed $3 billion in global office box office and uh, adjusted for inflation. Okay, moving on. Studio insiders emphasized tonight that Cavill didn't go rogue in posting in October about his return as the Man of Steel. It was a plan uh, hatched by the previous regime before Saffron and Gunn to their ex uh, exec seats at DC. There is still a chance that Cavill could be involved in the DC universe, which I really I hope he is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and give me one second, I'll talk about uh, him at Marvel. Anyways, the town was shaken up last week as news leaked that the new Saffron Gun DC administration had thumbed down Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman 3, which I did a, uh, a video on that. You guys can check it out. However, that decision was made in conjunction with other Warner execs who were providing notes for... Uh, to Jenkins, the Wonder Woman filmmaker tweeted Tuesday that she never walked away from the project. 
which I thought she should not have put out that that little statement. Anyways, I was open to considering uh, asking uh, anything asked of me, tweeted Jenkins. It was my understanding there was nothing I could do to move anything forward uh, at this time. DC is obviously buried in changes. Um they are having to make so under i understand these decisions are difficult right now gun replied on twitter i can attest that all of peter uh saffron and my uh interactions with you were only pleasant and professional i mean so he tweeted out oh you're a nice you're a nice person uh patty but we're not going to hire you back <laughs> like so here's the thing i okay so like i said before if he plays another character from the DC universe. I'll be happy about that. Just because I really. I personally like Henry Cavill. I know some people don't. And I do hear. I do hear that he's not um, fun to work with. I guess apparently. But I just like it. Like he plays Warhammer. And he like. He's just like. He, he built that computer on. And everything. It was just. He's very much kind of like a nerd. Like a geek. You know. Like us and everything. Uh, but he's all like. You know. Buff and stuff. And he's good looking and everything. So he's like. He's like every like fangirl like uh, you know wet dream so moving on to that i think that a possibility he could do and because i saw some fan art art on uh twitter because he had said somebody i think i think he had said he had talked to marvel and so somebody had put pictures of him as captain britain here's one of them and i'm telling you guys right now let me move this a little bit i'm telling you right now he looks great as captain britain i mean he looks fantastic i if he if they the Marvel, make this happen right now. Here's another one. I have another one. Here we go. Here's another one. He looks fantastic. I don't like the gloves, but whatever. Um, this looks fantastic. Uh, I think this one looks better than that one, but th he looks great as Captain Britain, and I am all for that. But it's really sad that he's not going to be Superman anymore. Um, yeah, I'm really bummed about that. I really wanted to see him just w at least one more movie, but... And hopefully they keep his cameos. I hope they keep all the cameos in the movies just because like we we know that there's only the four movies left and the Matt Reeves Batman number two. Who cares about that crap? Although I think they should cancel that too. Um, and then another movie we'll talk about in just a second. Uh, but yeah, I think that this I think that this was a, a bad choice, in my opinion. I'm really bummed about it. Uh, but what are you gonna do? What do you know? We don't make these decisions. All right, you guys, that is my first story of the week. So for my second story of the week. All right. So speaking of uh, Warner Brothers movies and everything. So this black Superman movie from J.J. Abrams and ta Coates it apparently is still happening. So this comes from uh, comicbook.com, this article. And we're going to read through this, but I, I have very specific thoughts on this and I want to talk about them. So it says, the future of the DC universe is continuing to evolve at a rapid pace now that James Gunn and Peter Safran have been tapped to run DC Studios. The duo will now be overseeing a number of movies, television shows, video games, and more inspired by DC Comics. And tonight, we got the first inkling of what that will entail. With Gunn himself penning a new reboot uh, movie for Superman, the film which will follow a younger Superman as he arrives in Metropolis will not be starring uh, previous Superman actor Henry Cavill, which we talked about in the last story. According to sequen uh, subsequent reporting by Gunn's reboot, it looks like another project relating to the Man of Steel could still be happening. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Gunn's new movie is still said to not have an impact on the black Superman film that is being written by Ta-Nehisi Coates and produced by J.J. Abrams. Their reporting states that Coates is still working on the script. I think this is horrible. This is a horrible idea. I want to just real quick say this. Ta-Nehisi Coates is a terrible writer. Um, if you've read any of his comic books, I only read his run on Black Panther and it was terrible. It's terrible. It's unreadable. It's there's barely any action in it. It's just a lot of yap, 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 yap. And it's not even good. Yap, 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 yap. I don't know what his Captain America run was. And and he's just a plain old piece of shit because uh, in a in his book, his little memoirs, he wrote um, he he called uh, uh, the 911 responders uh, menaces of nature. And he was basically happy that they were burning. Uh, during nine one one, uh, during nine eleven, and I just go, you're you're just a terrible human being, in my opinion. So, 
uh yeah f bomb that dude i i don't care about him and plus he's a terrible writer he doesn't he doesn't know he does not understand how how superheroes work so let's continue what would jj abrams and ta-nehisi coates superman movie be about okay real quick also i just want to say jj abrams is horrible too he sucks they both suck it's like take and and warner brothers i is probably really is really mad at jj abrams because they gave him 500 million dollars to do DC content, and he's literally put out nothing. Nothing's come out. We haven't seen anything. Haven't we've heard about projects that they're working on, but nothing's happened. And I just go, they paid him five hundred. I would. I hope they sue him for the money back because he sucks. He's just sucks. He's a hack. And then for him to get Tana Hisi Coates is just so true to form because one crappy, uh, you know writer gets another crappy writer of course it is so this comes after one of the most recent reports around the film in april of this year indicating that Coates would be turning in a draft of his screenplay soon a subsequent report in june indicated that the studio has yet to finalize plans regarding that project Coates film was previously rumored to center around a black superman and potentially be a period piece set sometime in the 20th century seemingly in line with superman's original comic debut in 1938 which everybody wants to see michael b jordan has also announced plans to have a black superman in an hbo max series i'm pretty sure that's canceled uh with rumors indicating that he could be playing val zod which val zod is not a bad uh character and that's not a bad story to do and if they did val zod if they made this movie and they did a val zod movie i'd be fine with that it's just Tony Hesey Coates is the huge and JJ Abrams. Those are the biggest problems because they both suck. They both suck. And I'm sorry if you tell me you like JJ Abrams and Tony Hesey Coates, it's very obvious you have no taste. You have no taste. You've never read a thing written by Tony Hesey Coates because he is not a good writer. Um, to be invited into the DC Extended Universe by Warner Brothers, DC Films, and Bad Robot is an honor, Coates told Shadow and Act in a statement when his film was first announced. I look forward to uh, meaningfully adding to the legacy of America's most iconic mythic hero. But you don't even like America. So, I mean, what are you talking about? Yeah, he sucks. He's stupid. There is a new, powerful, and moving Superman story yet to be told, Abrams added. We couldn't be more thrilled to be working with the brilliant Mr. Coates to help bring that story to the big screen. And we're beyond thankful to the team of Warner Brothers for the opportunity. Oh, I bet you are, you fucking hack. Uh, Tani Hisi Coates, Between the World and Me, open a window and change the way many of us see the world. Toby Emmerich, uh, former chairman, Warner Brothers Pictures Group, Echo. Yeah, and look where look where he is now. Thank you. Uh, we're confident that his take on Superman will give fans a new and exciting way to see the Man of Steel. Doubt it. Um, so that's that. I did see also some fan art on Twitter on the twits right here of this. This is actually pretty good. I actually thought this was pretty good. I like this a lot. It was very good. Now this, if they did this, I'd be okay with it. But it's Ta-Nehisi Coates that is the problem. He's the, my biggest problem. He sucks. He's no good uh, at writing. And I'm that's just facts. I'm sorry if you can't deal with facts. And if you, like I said before, if you like Ta-Nehisi Coates as a writer, you have no taste. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. Because his his Black Panther, I have it somewhere. It's in that closet right over here. But it's terrible. It's a terrible run on Black Panther. And it's a terrible comic book. I'm so happy I didn't pick up his Captain America. I bet that's shit too. All right, you guys. So that is my second story of the week. So for my third and final story of the week, I saw this on Twitter and I tried to find because they said Deadline was the source, but I couldn't find Deadline, but I like the direct. So we're going to check out this uh, article. And it says that Dwayne Johnson turned down a role in Shazam 2. It was a cameo, apparently. And I was like, that's interesting. I wonder why. Why would he turn down a, a cameo in Shazam 2? So we're going to read this article. Chit chat about it a little bit. It says, while Shazam Fury of the Gods will include a number of big names from current era of the DC universe, Dwayne Johnson doesn't appear to be one of them. Apparently, um, uh, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman is going to be in there, which I like that. I, you know, they're like I said before, they were apparently they're trying to maybe they're trying to interweave them. But obviously now it's it's. No use because they're going to go away soon after in a year. Uh, Dwayne Johnson helped to close out 2022 for the DCU uh, with Black Adam. 
an anti-hero with in uh irrefutable ties to Zachary Zachary Levi's Shazam, which I thought it was also weird not to have a Black Adam in a Shazam movie, but what are you gonna do? But uh, oh no, although the two haven't shared a movie together yet, for a time they were actually set to make their DC debuts together in an early version of 2019's Shazam, but Johnson revealed that he pub- uh, publicly asked Warner Brothers not to make that movie and do a disservice to his ultra power, uh, ultra powerful character. Now with Johnson's feelings about the potential direction being public knowledge, it's no surprise to hear that The Rock reportedly said when asked to cameo in Levi's next solo outing. And it says The Rock says no to Shazam 2 cameo, which I think is a bad idea. I, I, it's, you know, it, um, anyways. The raps, Umberto uh, Gonzalez, which I've seen him online before. Uh, he's a scooper. He Listen, he gets some stuff wrong. I'll just say that. Uh, revealed that Black Adam star Dwayne Johnson, which I have to just say, scoopers, you always have to take with a grain of salt because they'll be like, They'll be like, oh, this, this, and this, and then they'll be like, well, I didn't. I said take it. I said take it with a grain of salt. And so it's 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 like that Doomcock guy. It's like when has his his stuff ever been right? Uh, revealed that Black Adam star Dwayne Johnson passed on an offer from Warner Brothers and DC Films to briefly appear in Shazam: Fury of the Gods. Reportedly, Rock turned down a cameo role in the sequel due to release in March 2023. Rock passed on doing a cameo in Shazam 2 when he was asked. This isn't the first instance of reports indicating Johnson's dislike for Shazam. The rap previously reported that The Rock held a thinly veiled disdain for Zachary Levi's character, which I don't understand why. I don't understand why you wouldn't make a... uh, a, a cameo. I don't understand that. Johnson and his team even reportedly asked that the scene mention, mentioning Black Adam be removed from Shazam, wanting the two characters to be separate as possible at this time. Um, let's see. So it says, will Shazam and Black Adam ever meet on screen? While DC Studios CEO, C- co-CEOs James Gunn and Peter Safran have a plan laid out for the DCU, that will be released next year. Things are incredibly up in the air until that news settles everything down. But what's being made unmistakably clear is that Dwayne Johnson wasn't feeling the idea of not only bringing his character into the movie with Shazam, but even having them mentioned in each other's movies at all, which I also think is such a horrible decision. uh, uh, Captain Marvel and Black Adam, they're nemesis. And you're telling me, uh, Dwayne Johnson, if this is true, is an idiot. Uh, I'll tell you that. Zachary Levi had offered his own hopes to see Black Adam and Shazam meet at some point, picturing the two godlike figures going head to head in a battle for the ages on the big screen. Shazam 2 will reportedly feature a cameo from Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, while also featuring a top-notch cast of characters including Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu as the two of the sequel's villains. But when looking at the characters that could make contact with Billy Batson alter ego in this movie, or even as a tease for the threequel, Black Adam should have seemingly been at the top of the list absolutely not having black adam in here was a bad decision um increasingly enough uh, oh interestingly enough all of this could be up a uh, be end up being a moot point in a few weeks once the new era of the dcu is revealed and the full uh, full to the public fans are only hoping that johnson and levi may get another shot at glory in their roles but this could also be the end of the road for both of them as DC ends its current era with its next four releases. I do not think they are going to be back. I think that they're done, which is a bummer. What are you going to do? We don't make these decisions. I I listen. I like I love Shazam. I thought it was really, really good. And I liked Black Adam. So I I, I don't and I, I really don't understand why uh, The Rock doesn't want these two to to coexist together it's such a weird a weird thing i don't understand that that thought process 
All right, you guys, that is my third and final story of the week. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about Henry Cavill no longer being Superman in the DC universe? Um, is this something that bums you out? Are you guys upset about this? I'm upset about it. I think it's a bad choice. Um, and then how do you feel about... Um, James Gunn's thoughts on a new Superman movie. He's going to be doing that uh, that Superboy movie, apparently. Um, uh, but how do you feel about that? Do you think it's a good idea? Are you still going to go see it? Do you think James Gunn is good to write and direct this movie? Um, you know, how do you feel about that? Um, also, tell me, how do you feel about this Ta-Nehisi Coates Black Superman movie? Are you like me and you're fine with a Black Superman, you just don't like Ta-Nehisi Coates and J.J. Abrams? They're both uh, hacks, especially J.J. Abrams, and Ta-Nehisi Coates is a terrible writer. Uh, but uh, and I hope that it doesn't go through. I hope it gets canceled hardcore like soon. I hope they announce it soon so I can and so I can laugh at them and point and laugh. They're all going to laugh at you. And then finally, tell me, how do you guys feel about this Dwayne Johnson turning down a cameo in Shazam 2? Do you think this was a good idea or do you think this was a bad idea? Um, like I said before, I personally think this was a bad idea. I think he should have done it. I think he should have, you know, he he's he's talking like about how the hierarchy of DC is going to change, but he's not willing to like, you know, play ball on the team and everything. I think that that's just a bad choice. Um, all right, you guys will tell me what you guys think about all this. Uh, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you do my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week on my week in review. You guys have a good week. Bye. Hey nerds, if you like this video, go ahead and click that Geek What icon and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and join me every Sunday with my Week in Review.